everyone, so in today's video I'm going to break down the exorcist. The exorcist is a really cool floor work trick. Um, it's very very easy to do, it doesn't require having um, a huge amount of flexibility, anybody can make it look good. It can be a little bit confusing as to which way you're turning and how to make it look the best, so I'm going to break it down exactly um, everything that you need to do in order to make it look as good as you possibly can. Uh, you can try this at home, uh, make sure that your back is warm, that your neck is warm before you try it. Um, you can do it in heels or without heels. So um, choose whichever one you want and we'll get started with it. So what we're going to do is lie down nice and flat, both shoulders on the floor. Let me just move forward a little bit here so that you can see everything. I'm going to um, lift up nice and high onto the ball of my foot so my heels are lifted off the ground. My feet are just a little bit wider than hip width distance apart, so that way I can balance here. What I'm going to do is keep my shoulders down, hands out to the side for balance. So toes down, heels lifted, we're going to push the hips up nice and high into a hip bridge. So from here, what happens next is my right hand is going to thread underneath my body with the space I've created. My right hand is reaching towards my left foot, so imagine that you want to grab the heel of your shoe or grab your foot diagonally across underneath the body. With the opposite hand, I'm going to take it across my face. I'm going to roll over onto the bottom shoulder, keeping my face on the ground. So I'm going to press my right ear to the floor, face stays down, I'm really rolling over that right shoulder as you can see here. The left hand, I'm going to take it across the face um, with little um, Spider-Man hands for balance here. So rolling over the shoulder can be a little bit painful. At first, you might get a little bit of a bruise from it but you will get used to it, don't worry. If you feel pretty good here, still keeping that face pressed down to the floor and the shoulder down, do not lift your shoulders or your head off the ground here. It makes it so much more difficult. So if you feel good, we can remove the left hand, we can reach it forward, um, you can make a dramatic grab or you can do whatever you want with that left hand, just add in a bit more flair to it. Now to get out, I'm gonna roll over, keep my head on the ground, back onto my left shoulder for stability, and hips come down again. So let's try it on the other side. So hips lift up, nice and high, making that the hip bridge as big as you can, so hips all the way up, squeeze your butt. So left hand, we're gonna thread it under, diagonally under the body, to reach toward my right foot. So it's opposite hand, um, so the hand is reaching towards the opposite leg. So with the other hand, I'm going to roll over, over that left shoulder, hand comes across, to help me balance here, keeping my face down and keeping my shoulder on the floor. Do not lift up. The only thing that is in the air is your hips and your heels, as you can see here. If you feel good, we can remove the hand, see if we can balance here so that you can add more flair to your dancing. Back down to the center, we're going to draw the arms out again, back onto both shoulders and hips down. To get out, you can straighten one leg, roll over onto your belly, and a push up from here. So have fun with your exercise. Remember the key points in this move are butt up as high as you can into the air. Hips higher the better. It's gonna create more space for you to reach across under the body. Your arm is going diagonally across and you're reaching towards the opposite foot. Number three is keep your shoulder, the one that you're rolling over on the floor at all times and pressing the side of your face and your ear down to the floor. Do not lift your shoulder, do not lift your head. Um, it's not a comfortable feeling and it makes the move really, really difficult to do. Um, when getting back out of it, take control and make sure that you're coming back onto both shoulders, nice and slow control out of it. Um, and then hips are coming down last. It looks really good in pictures, so if you um, get the move and you make a nice picture of it, be sure to send it to us so we can um, include it on our blog and on our Facebook page as well. And have fun integrating it into your floor work dancing. It can be a really nice pose to throw in there for a little bit of added drama. So have fun guys and let us know how you get on.